Hey YouTube, this is SentaiFan45 here, and today I will be opening up a white QRM GX box for the Dragon Majesty set. I did pick this up at <clears throat> the Dork Den up in Mankato, and I went to the Leak Challenge. I did pick up quite a bit of stuff there, and then I did go to the GameStop at the River Hills Mall in Mankato, and I picked up some of their buy one get one free stuff I know my buddy when he went there he just completely emptied uh, GameStop just bought all their packs and like it was a lot I was like dang son save some for like the little kids <laughs> but it's all good fun I to open this up I did pull this one uh, before I did videos of pack openings and the rainbow rare version but I did uh, trade that away to my buddy he wanted it so I'm like yeah you, you can have it uh, he, <clears throat> I believe I traded him for a Gardevoir GX one or two I forget this was a while ago but just a code card I don't know if we get a nice little coin it's nice and we also get the big old version of the car that went in there it's nice i do have the ones of these that i get from the boxes i'm thinking of getting one of those um poster frames and just putting them in there seeing how good they fit and here's the main gem ycurum gx full art that's nice it's gorgeous that'll probably just end up in the in the, in the collection so we got five Dragon Mas Majesty packs to open up. Hopefully we get some good good stuff in here. I really don't need another one, but I would like <clears throat> that Zanina uh, Full Art Trainer. That would be pretty nice. I do like the Full Art Trainer cards. We have a Water Energy. Drampa, Dragonair, Quagsire, Swablu, Feebas, Duramaka, Hakamo, Dratini. We have a Wella Volcano Park Reverse, and the rare is a Blaziken Hollow. Four more packs to go. I did enjoy opening up Dragon Majesty uh, set. You know, just like the Shining Legends, you know, you could get those uh packs that way and i did and i did enjoy opening up that big old um what is it <clears throat> that box that great ball box like they had that was a nice opening we got a psychic energy charmeleon salazzle flygon corsola duramaka Feebas, hakamo wishy-washy we have a darkness energy reverse and the rare is a white Curum GX regular. Nice, nice. Pretty happy about that one. Have the full art and the regular. That's nice. Pretty happy. Pumped. Third pack here. We got a metal energy. Cedra. Switch Raft, Dragonair, Kangaskhan, Horsey, Corsola, Duramaka, Hakamo, Combuscan Reverse, and the rare is an Altaria Hollow. Nice. I do like this card. It's really nice artwork on that one. Put that up here. Two more packs to go. Let's see what we get. Crocodile, Zygarde, Melotic, Corsola, Swablu, Feebas, Durumaka, Hakamo, Zanina Reverse, and the rare is a Feraligator Hollow. <coughs> Last pack.
Water Energy, Fiery Flint, Dragon Talon, Combuskin, Kangaskhan, Litten, Horsey, Torchic, Whooper. We have a Grass Energy, nice. And the rare is a Charizard Hollow. Overall, I have to say, it was okay box. I mean, I did get these two, so I'm not too upset with the box. Really wanted this because I love how, I love how it looks and it's a full art. And we did pull this one regular, so highlight. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter, SentaiFan45. And I will, if you guys add me on the online TCG, I do battle on there from like 7 to 10. Usually about 3 hours-ish if I'm not doing anything else. Lately, I haven't been playing because a certain, well, two certain games have been eating my time. Let's go Pikachu and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love playing those two. I picked them up on release. Luckily, <clears throat> Let's Go Pikachu was available when I got off work. I did go there the night before. Did go there at about 4 o'clock in the morning to Walmart on Friday. They didn't have it. Then luckily, on Fridays at work, I get out early. So I called up Walmart. I'm like, yo, you guys have the Let's Go games? He's like, yeah, we got you. And he's all like, nice, nice. So I drove drove to my, you know, Fairmont. That's where I live. And I live and I work somewhere else, like, to 20 minutes away. You know, went there, got the game, went home, and I just started playing. And I was nostalgia, you know. I did grow up playing the uh, Pokemon Blue. That's the game I actually got. So I was pretty happy with that. And I was like, dang, this game is so good. I did get the bundle. It was the... Let's go Pikachu game and the Pokeball Plus. I actually have the packaging still. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. I beat the game within like three days. Um, I probably would have done it a little bit quicker, but I was, you know, going slow. I did play nonstop. Fortunately, there was a leak challenge when that game came out, so I did have to stop for that. But in between, I did play. And then, of course, Smash Ultimate came out, so then that ate some more of my time. But it is a addicting game, and my setup is right over there. Is my Switch, and then I also have my Xbox One. There's my Nintendo Switch games. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I do play a lot of tabletop games there. And <clears throat> I just found my old uh, Zord collection from... This is actually, people are going to say this is from Dino Charge, but it's actually from the Q-Ranger in Japan, the Super Sentai there. And you can see, there's my long claw sword from Game of Thrones. As always, you know, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.